Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back again with Harvest Moon, the Lost Valley series, and this is gonna be part 16. And welcome back, guys. We're on our way to our summer crystal, and we should be expecting the girl Catherine, which she was the one that appeared on our last part, on part 15 at the end. Uh, we had a dream of her, and we should be seeing her soon, guys, uh, because she is the gate to starting the summer crystal. But, anyways. Uh, we got a dream here. Sally may need some help from us. So let's go outside and if she's out here and we get a little cutscene right now. Could this be Catherine? Hopefully it is. <laughs> and it is. It is. It is indeed Catherine. Um, I wonder what she's going to say to us right now. Tisk tisk. To think that anyone would actually live in such a filthy hovel. Whoa. She just called her house a hovel. I am Catherine. Who might you be? Oh, you just called my house a hovel. <laughs> Is that so? I heard someone was living here now and I came to see for myself. And precisely as I heard, the inhabitant is nothing but an eccentric bumpkin. She's one of those like really um, snobbish British ladies, I guess. <laughs> tisk tisk. It was my father who first settled this land, I'll have you know. I am willing to permit you to live here, but I must assess your qualifications to do so. Hmm. Alright. So she's gonna leave us now. That is wonderful, just wonderful. Um, now, I don't know when she's gonna come back, but she has to come back to us and tell us something about the trees. Uh, so we can continue with our uh, summer crystal progress. Um, and in order to do that, I'm actually gonna skip this part, guys. Alright yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. And what I actually did was I actually skipped seven days about because Catherine would just not come ever. So hopefully she will come the next day. And I really didn't want you guys to go through all of that seven days of me just doing like farming and you know all that regular stuff that you guys already have done yourselves, already, you know, have seen it repeat repeatedly many times over and over again. So I didn't want you guys to sit through that boredom, so I skipped it off for you guys, and hopefully she will be coming today or something like that. So anyways, I had a dream that a chick was born, and actually, yeah, a lot of things happened. I planted a couple new crops, and actually my chicks became hens, and they laid a bunch of eggs. And now we get a cutscene, and hopefully this is Catherine. Let's take a look at who it is, guys. And yes, it's Catherine. Finally she arrives. This is just seven days, guys, just for her to come back, like really. Over the past week, I have made my tour of inspection. I am most dissatisfied. At the hardwood trees in particular, you have not tended them in the least, have you? Well, we couldn't because we only had an old axe, so we couldn't really chop them down, I guess. There must be proper trending, for example, trimming and tasks of that nature. My father always said that trees must be properly trimmed. Well, you do have an extra axe, don't you? Uh... No, I don't think so. We have. I don't think we have an extra axe. <laughs> axe. Uh, tisk tisk. Unless you wish to be evicted from our land, obtain an axe. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have to get an axe. How would a refined young lady know where to find something as rustic as an axe? Ask your friends. Okay. So in this case, I believe that we have to go to the blacksmith and uh, get a axe from him. Get an axe. Catherine's asking you to get an axe. The request has been updated and let's go outside guys. So yeah, like I was saying, I did a lot of things during those seven days that I didn't put into this video. Uh, hold on a second, let's just talk to Sally right now. Okay, so she just says that stuff. I, I had a, actually Sally had a request for us and I did finish it for her. She gave us some broccolini seeds and I'm on Doc's third request right now and I believe this request that I'm doing right now will finally uh, give me a windmill that I can use to finish um i mean that i can use to make animal feed from so i don't have to keep buying animal feed which are really 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 expensive um these animals they eat a lot so like every day you're buying a lot a ton of these animal feeds so hopefully this third request request will get me the windmill um and you do need to finish a hunter's request to make the animal feed and as you guys can see my two chicks have grown up into hens and uh that's pretty nice 
um, I think they grow in like two weeks or something the total amount of time that they grow and as you guys can see now they're producing eggs for us and this is wonderful because we can make food out of it and a whole bunch of stuff like that and this incubator right now is uh, gonna be hatching another hen and I guess by tomorrow or the next day or so the hen will be hatched not the hen I mean the chick will be hatched and uh, we'll probably get an event or something but anyways let's go check our cow as well see that our Sally Sally the cow is doing well and yes she's doing well she needs some animal feed as well and I'm again running out of animal feed. I had to buy a lot of these. Um, but anyways, let's go up. Because uh, our plants are doing well over here. Let's go up. Not up. Not up. Let's, let's just hit the bag right now. Because I need to actually speed up the time. Because I don't think the blacksmith is in the moon valley yet. And uh, yeah, we need to find Tony the blacksmith. Uh, specifically because Tony is the one. Apparently, he's the one that gives us this new axe that will cut down the hardwood trees. So, let's go outside, guys. And, uh, let's go talk to Dewey as well because I think we'll need to water. I think because there hasn't been any snow right now. So, let's just check. Oh, no, never mind. They, they, didn't, they didn't dry out yet. I thought they would, though. But, uh, yeah, let's go outside. And let's go to the Moon Valley. So we can talk to Tony and some event will probably pop up uh, about that. We've got a trees here. So much trees here that I want to cut down. So as soon as we get that axe, we're going to be cutting down these trees for sure, guys. But anyways, let's go talk to the Brutus. Not Brutus, but uh, everybody else. Let's see. There's Tony right there. Hey, Tony, what's up? And an event popping right now. So you want me to make you an axe. Yes, we do want that axe. I wonder if I can manage it. You can. I'm sure you can. Um, okay, if you insist, I'll give it a shot. Okay, thank you, Tony. Because we will be needing that. And um, we have to come back visit Tony whenever he finishes his axe. I don't know when that's going to be. But uh, let's just go use our harvest whistle again. There's no point in walking all the way back there. That'll be just a waste of time. So there we go. Let's use our harvest whistle. And let's go back to bed. Because we don't have anything to do today. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go to the bed and tomorrow is when the dock will be in the boom valley because it'll be like Saturday I believe I think he's there in Saturday on Saturday. So let's go check because it is gonna be Saturday now. So Yeah, hopefully I won't have to buy animal feed anymore. Sally's birthday is coming up So I should wish her a birthday if I get a chance Some days later not now of course and uh, let's go outside and let's go to the moon valley right away guys wait you know what we gotta speed up the time again and uh yeah because i don't think he's there at 6 a.m none of these characters are ever outside at 6 a.m so you always have to speed up time if you don't want to waste any time um but uh yeah let's go outside and check on the dock right away hopefully he will give us a windmill i really really hope that he gives us a windmill Unless he just makes, uh, unless he just gives me the recipe for it, which will suck because I'll probably have to pay like 20,000 gold for that windmill. So, uh, yeah, let's go and check, guys. And our plants need some watering as well. So, we should actually, on our way, we should just go check up on Dewey first. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't think they work on Saturdays. Um, I realized that a lot of times they weren't there, like on Saturdays and Sundays. I think on the weekends, the harvest sprites like take a vacation or somewhere. With the harvest goddess and you know do some crazy stuff on their own probably but uh, let's go and check up on doc and yes he's in the Har harvest valley right now so let's finish up the request now this is doc's third request uh it wasn't showing on my previous videos like i said because i did skip the seven days and uh yeah let's go and check up on with doc bim boom kaboom what binds the buildings hold on a second i didn't finish oh right i didn't finish his request let me just check his request again uh, do, 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 do. get an axe. Wait, whose request did I finish? I don't understand because it says some request finished, right? Hardwood lumber. Okay, but anyways, I'm kind of confused because it said I was done the request, which was okay. I guess I'm not done, but anyways, we'll have to move really, really fast now because time is now against us. Because I don't know when the dock leaves, but it's already 3 21 p.m. He might even leave at 4, so I have like 40 minutes in game right now to get to that valley as fast as possible now i gotta buy the hardwood lumber from sam so buy and sell he's got a request for us actually i didn't realize that okay so hardwood hardwood lumber is 100 gold oh my god 
So what can I uh, sell right now? Um, you know what? We don't need all these strawberry seeds. So let's go ahead and sell them. And can I sell you anything? I can't sell that. Uh, let's sell some... Let's just sell all the blue rose. We don't need it right now. And then let's go buy some hardwood lumber. Did we need one or or uh, three? Yeah, you know what? I think we needed three because no nothing popped up right now. So let's go and buy three. Buy two more, I mean. Let's buy two more hardwood lumber. And now I think we're done the request. Yeah, we're done the request. So let's talk to Sam again because he's actually got a request. Either he's... Either we're done the request or it's a new request. Real Red, you can come see me whenever you want to buy things. Oh yeah, and about my daughter, she liked that thing you picked out the other day. Oh, so it's a new request. And she talked to me a smidgen. I got a dodo. Uh, I was thinking about giving her something from around here. So could you just come up with something? Alright. So we received Sam's Family 3. Oh, he wants 6 margaritas. Well, that's going to be annoying, so I got to plant 6 expensive flowers these these characters they all want margarita uh, margarita flowers for some reason I have no idea why but uh, they all seem to want the same flowers anyways I'm gonna go rush over to the dock this is the fastest we can run unfortunately hopefully the dock is still there it's becoming four o'clock now please don't leave dock please don't leave us oh my god I hope the dock is still in there come on Come on, let's move faster. Yes, the dock is still in there. I was so worried that the dock would leave by 4. Uh, maybe he leaves by 6. But uh, yeah, let's go talk to the dock right now. Come on, walk faster, dude. Let's go and <laughs> let's go talk to the dock. Uh, whenever you see me... Okay, there we go. There's a request, and we're done your request now. To my scientifically trained eye, it looks like you have all the materials we need. You're one in a million, Red. I've got all kinds of ideas I want to try out next time. It's going to work out like a charm. As a thank you, I'm giving you an insta building. Yes, for a windmill. With a windmill, you can grind flour and animal feed. Finally. Click all the materials needed to make an invention and give them to dog. Close that. And, um... Now the thing is... Is, uh, to make... I mean, after we make the windmill, the, the only problem I have is, like... How are we going to make the animal feed? Now, I had the recipe, but I know you have to use, like, corn and stuff like that. But uh, let's go back to our farm and finish a bunch of stuff. And you know what, guys? I'll be right back. I'll skip this. Alright guys, I'm back and as you guys can see, I have uh, put placed the windmill hill now unfortunately, I thought the windmill was going to be much bigger and I am kind of disappointed by the size, but you know what, it's okay. Let's see if we can actually make feed here. Uh, to get, oh yeah, we need to get fodder, cornmeal, and cabbage. So now I need to find a way to get fodder cornmeal, mill, uh, or fodder cornmeal. I think it's that fodder cornmeal, uh, yeah. But anyways, let's feed our chickens right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the fodder. Uh, I'll do that probably after this video. And, uh, yeah, from then on, I don't, we don't, won't have to buy any of this, uh, animal feed anymore. Let's clean up these compost, uh, as well. And, uh, and you can see that our chicken is actually sleeping. Wow, I never noticed that, because I never actually checked the, uh, barn and the coop during the night, of course. And Sally might be sleeping as well. Let's see if she is. Oh, she's already sleeping. That's awesome. I can wake her up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I woke you up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I woke you up, Sally, here. Um, but you need to eat something, so there we go. Uh, let's go back to uh, bed, I guess. Because that's all we can do for now. And uh, I'm going to have to definitely find a way to get the fodder corn meal. And, uh, yeah, let's go to bed, guys. Because it's actually late night. It's already 840 I actually spent this day very, very well compared to all the other Harvest Moon days I've had so far. But uh, yeah, let's go to bed. And uh, I think our chick will be born on the next day. Hunter will come by and probably give us a visit right now. So let's see. Doc has another request for us. 
Yep, he's got another problem, and that's gonna be awesome because he might give us a new insta building. I have no idea what it's gonna be, but uh, no, Hunter did not come here. So apparently, our chick is not supposed to be born yet. Interesting. <laughs> so maybe it's tomorrow, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's see what are we gonna do today. There's not much we can do today. I'm gonna just speed up the time once again just to make sure all the characters are at the village here and you know everything's uh, well so let's just go and skip the time right now and uh, we'll go check up on our uh, garden of course because it's not snowing which means it's probably the, the plants are probably dry right now so let's go check guys and uh, is it dry is it dry right now let's see come on let's go nope they're not dry and actually we have some ready to harvest so let's just harvest these up quickly uh, you know what? There's a there's actually a lot to harvest right now, so I'm just gonna actually leave those right now there. I'm just gonna uh, no plants, no seeds are available. So once again, guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back once again, and yeah, I planted everything possible. I don't have money right now. I'm really, really poor. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go talk to Hannah right now, just to some of these characters here, just to see what they're up to. Your vegetables are looking, growing healthy. Okay, so let's just go back, and uh, yeah, let's move on to the next day, guys. Uh, Cause I do want to hit Tuesday, and uh, if we hit Tuesday, we can go and talk to Tony, of course. Which he will probably have the axe ready for us by then. So let's just go to bed right now. Another thing we can do right now. Um, yeah, so let's go back to bed. And I wish we had more recipes for the kitchen. Because, I mean, I want to do something with the egg and fish and all the milk I have right now. But I can't do anything with it because we only have strawberry jam uh, recipes. But uh, looks like someone's got a new request for us. It seems like April has some kind of problem. Okay, so we should go check up on April, guys. And is our chick ready? Oh, what's this cutscene? Hunter, great news, an egg has, uh, has hatched. Okay, so that means our egg has hatched. Come on with me and see that little... Okay, so let's go ahead and see the little gal. Thank goodness, the baby was born good and healthy. I don't mean to rush y'all, but how about a name for the little gal? Yeah, actually, I haven't thought about a name for her, but uh, let's just call her Yellow. Because I think yellow is a fine name for a yellow bird. Of course, she won't be yellow when she becomes a hen, but uh, yeah, at least she's a little yellow bird right now. So let's go ahead and give her the name, yellow. And oh, it sounds like a mighty fine name. Now y'all take good care of her. Okay, so now we got three chickens, and we'll be laying a bunch of eggs. And we're back at the home. What? That does not make sense to me. Why do we get transported back here? And uh, it's still 6 a.m. God, this is so annoying. I have to keep speeding up the time like this, but uh, yeah, let's speed up the time, guys. And I guess that'll be it for today, guys, because we're at that 20 minute mark. And uh, yeah, we got uh, there's not a lot of progress done in today because it's kind of a silly, in my opinion, how Natsume made these story events so long in between. Like, you have to wait seven and then seven days, and not to wait four days for Tony. So that's like in total 11 days to get an axe literally just I have to like wait 11 days for that but uh, anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much guys for coming down here once again and I'll see you guys next time on part 17 peace out everybody